right hi friends this is shanmuk i'm a sql DBA trainer so in this video i'll show you how to install sql server using a command okay so how to install sql server using a command okay so uh, we can write one query one command that can be executed in the command prompt so that we can easily install the sql server without selecting any options okay so first you have to prepare the command so the command will be like this guys so this is our command by using this command we are going to install the sql server either 2017 or 2019 process is same okay so very simple command it's not difficult to remember so you can use setup.exe okay uh, slash qs means quite simple qs means quite simple which will show you the status of the installation okay status of the installation and then here of course while installing using gui we are going to select i accept sql server license terms right so for the same this is the command you have to simply okay uh, give forward slash then i accept a sql server license terms you have to give then what you are do, going to do i am going to install right so action is equal to install so the command contains action is equal to install if you are going to uninstall the sql server that is action is equal to remove okay like that so features of course you have to mention the features what features and all you want to install so make sure you just give features command and uh, these are the default features we are going to install sql engine which will install database engine and then replication feature and then full text feature then uh, connections sql compatibility sql server backward compatibility uh, client tools sdk okay client tools connectivity sdk so these are some shared features and some specific features okay so you have to specify in the command so that these features will be installed during installation and of course you have to mention the instance name right so you have to mention the instance name though so slash instance name is equal to which name you want if it is a default instance mention ms sql server if you want to install a named instance instance mention which name you want to install okay so mention the instance name and uh, you have to mention this sql sys admin accounts means uh, after installing sql server one account should be there right add current user if you remember while installing the sql server we are going to add current user or we are going to add a dba team or other teams so here uh, with the minimum configuration i am simply adding administrator account if if we are able to log into the sql server using administrator account after that we can create lot of accounts we can give access to multiple people okay so that's not an issue so that's why i'm just adding only one user that is administrator user whatever remaining inputs like service accounts and all sa accounts by default it will take it service accounts no need to mention it will take custom uh, virtual service accounts during the installation whatever instance name you are going to give with that instance name some virtual service accounts will be created so automatically those virtual service accounts it is going to utilize so we don't need to provide service accounts and their passwords and all by default it will take it okay so make sure your command is in a single line usually uh, if you command if you write a command in multiple lines make sure you just select this uh, turn off this word wrap guys uh, usually word wrap should be turn off to get the command in a single line if you turn on you can see under multiple lines just turn it off okay you can get the single line command okay so actual command is from here guys setup.exe okay so from here and you can go to up to ending okay this is the actual command so listen carefully before in uh, running this query we can run this query actually in the command prompt so let me open command prompt and you have to open command prompt with run as administrator mode okay right click run as admin mode okay you can open command prompt like this done here listen carefully where is my software if you go to c drive okay my software is there in the d drive you can see here d drive okay so what you have to do first in which drive in which folder your software is there go to that folder in the command prompt go to that folder in the command prompt okay so my sql server software setup file is there in the d drive so i am just opening d drive in the command prompt if your software is, is there in the c drive in separate folder make sure you just go to that particular folder in the command prompt so here let me go to the d drive guys how to go to d drive d colon that's it you can go to d drive 
so here you can run this query okay and again i'm saying guys this path this path usually okay you have to compare where is your software and based on that you have to give this path if your sql server software is there in the c drive go to that path in the command prompt okay if your software is there in the d drive like me okay like you can see on the screen right so then go to the particular drive and make sure and if you open if you open here you can see setup file right this setup file we are going to trigger now right so like this it is going to work so this is the same okay so now in d drive itself directly setup file is there so happily you can copy paste the whole link uh, command and right click uh, okay here just right click and paste it and hit no need to hit enter automatically it will take it and uh, there is an issue with this uh, uh, command guys so what is the issue uh, the instance is already existed so no problem we'll get an error not an issue uh, this time we'll change the instance name and we are going to install the sql let it let, let, let us get the error okay once we got the error then i'll rename uh, the instance name i'll give separate instance so that uh, it will work now okay so let's wait for the error and you can see that error instance name is already existed you will get such kind of error right we didn't get any error okay no problem not an issue so what we can do let's change the instance name here so instance name sql 2017 is ui is already installed so what i'll do sql 2017 okay uh, uh, test cui okay cui means command way uh, command user interface okay cui means command user interface so i'm this is my instance name sql 2017 test cui uh, you should make sure you, the the instance name is not more than 15 characters if it's more than 15 characters definitely your query will fail guys okay so make sure it is less than 15 characters only your instance name is less than 15 characters so 3 plus 4 7 plus 4 11 plus 3 okay so this is around 14 okay now let me copy paste it again Control c let me go to the command prompt and right click paste it and now the installation will start guys nothing to do here no intervention needed simply just watch it automatically it will directly go to the uh, final screen where you can see the installation status and once the installation is successfully done i'll show you okay the same instance name i'll give in the ssms to connect so i'll show you the instance okay whether it is properly installed or not right so you can see the status as of now i didn't selected any option um authentication type um, features i didn't selected anything anything i didn't selected simply just uh, wrote the query and um, copy paste the query in the command prompt and hit enter sometimes you don't need to hit enter also automatically it will start installing so um, it is very quick guys okay very quick hardly in five minutes the installation will be completed but for the first time it will take time like 10 to 15 minutes for the first time if you are installing uh, if you are installing multiple times on the same machine second time onwards it will take less time like five minutes within five minutes the installation is going to be completed guys okay so uh, I'm, I'm just pausing the recording so that once installation is completed you can i'll show you the final screen so you can see uh, installation is almost okay came to an end guys let's wait for a few seconds okay once installation is successfully completed so here in the in the command prompt screen uh, again it will be go back to the d prompt okay the previous state it will go to the previous state okay d prompt if any errors are there you can see those errors while installing the sql server using command prompt if any errors are there sometimes you can see those errors in the command prompt okay sometimes those errors will be suppressed you don't see any errors and all that you have to check under summary.txt file or detail.txt file okay so let's wait uh, until it's just completed 
then you can see it will be uh, go back to its deep prompt okay so let's wait for a few seconds process is same for 2017 2019 okay so and here uh, for the first time if you install um, you need to mention all these features and next time you can skip this four okay these four features you can skip it why because those are shared features right no need to install again and again just you can install these three specific features sql engine replication and full text okay so second time if you're installing you can skip these three, uh, these four shared features okay so um, almost we came to an end right and uh, I'll, I'll show you once it is completed yes it is completed and you can see the command prompt once it is closed you can see the and the command prompt will be highlighted okay you can see here again cursor is back if any errors are there you don't see this cursor you can see the error message okay you have to fix that error message and you have to install it again so let's let's connect to the installed instance just now we have installed right so what i can do let me go to the browse for more let me go to the database engine you can see test cui right sql 2017 test cui is our instance name okay so select the this is your computer name okay this is the computer name backslash test cui is the instance name click ok and click connect so the instance is successfully connected everything you can see everything will work as usual let me start this agent okay so in this way you can install the sql server in the command prompt guys okay this is how we are going to install it so there is no issue okay like in gui how you installed okay everything all the features all the components you can get it if you install sql server using command prompt also okay so i'm going to paste the command in the uh, in the description link you can use that command to install the sql server guys thank you so much for watching the video